I'm here with Natalie, who's an artist who participated in Paper Girl, but she was also one of the Paper Girl, uh, Paper Root Girls, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, how did you find out about Paper Girl, Natalie? Uh, I found out about Paper Girl through um, Marie Lopez. Um, I was participating in a project earlier this summer called the Vancouver Drawdown, and it's to promote and encourage drawing in the community. So we set up workshops, and uh, one of the workshops was at the Roundhouse Community Center, and Marie is the uh, arts programmer here. So anyway, she told me about it, so I looked it up on the uh, internet, and I emailed Alex, and just told her that I wanted to be a part of it. And um, so I came to the opening exhibition and got to see all the artwork that was up. And then on the day of, yeah, coming here and just coming on my own and meeting other people that wanted to be involved in, uh, I don't know, community, collaboration, uh, volunteer. Uh, so that was pretty cool just because I I like to share that energy and so um, it's really neat to be with other people that are like-minded like that. Yeah. So, and then to get on our bikes, it's a beautiful Vancouver uh, summer day. And um, it was interesting to see people's responses to the art that was given out and uh, how you approach them. It really uh, uh, sort of led way for how they received the art. Yeah. Um, I found the best way was when I would just say, hey, how's it going? Um, I'm with uh, Paper Girl Vancouver, and we're handing out free art today. It's the art of giving art, and just told them a bit about the project and educated them and informed them. And once they found out what it was about and that it's something international and it's the first time in Vancouver, I think there's a lot of uh, there's a niche for that in Vancouver that that people in Vancouver want to be more international and uh, more connected in, with other yeah other yeah. places and, and especially yeah. like a global movement people yeah. just sort of latch right onto that yeah um, did you so, um, did you see some of the artwork before it was all rolled up and yeah yeah I, did. I, I I was really impressed I don't know tell me what your thoughts are but um, like the caliber of the work was quite interesting as well there were some people who you could tell spent a lot of time on producing things like there were prints and you know things that were reproducible there there but there are also people who just like did their own you know you could see there were hours involved in what they were making and and for them to just be like okay yeah I'll give that away yeah. it's quite cool yeah I, I had the same reaction where there was things like collages that had been done and then there were real pieces of really like fine artwork like yeah. Uh, there was one drawing that was done on vellum, and they had uh, like a colored a splotch of the vellum, like a, with a hot pink crayon, and then done an illustration with a fine point pen on another piece of vellum. Cut it out, put it over the pink, and the vellum is is transparent, so you can see the color through it. And then had sewn string on a, it was a small child, and there was a string that came down and it attached to this big blue whale that had been colored blue and then the whale illustrated and sewn on top of it and it's just so cool like when people get creative what comes out yeah uh, there's some pretty neat stuff mm. <laughs> yeah and it was neat too because I think um, some of my favorite connections with people today were other artists and I think it's a great source of inspiration yeah. to see other people giving it away because, I mean, most times art is the process of doing it and not the final result. Yeah. So I think fueling the process yeah. is a big, uh, I don't know. It's also, it's also a lot more commercial than I think it was before, you know, like a lot of it was more, like you said, exp about the experiment, but um, a lot of people get caught up in the idea of like investing in art and you know, is this going to make me money 10 years down the road, all that kind of stuff, which is kind of, you know, then it's just another product, what makes it any different from anything else, so it's, yeah. I think it's a nice kind of refreshing exercise to, yeah, sorry, 
Just interjecting there. <laughs> Favorite per paper girl moment? guys that I ran into at Bandy Park that first, like I talked to them for a couple seconds and they kind of keep, they wanted to keep walking um, and then the guy asked if he could see the artwork and decide if he would like it or not <laughs> and once I, I said there's no strings attached, you don't have to keep it, it kind of relieved him a bit and then I said you know could I tell you more about the project before you go inside what you think about it and after telling him about it he got really into it because he's visiting from Montreal and I don't know it's just an experience that now he's had in Vancouver and I think it really helps to define what Vancouver's about the people that live here and, uh, and yeah it's just a, it's, a, it's a great uh, energy to be providing and like that synergy that's being created as well yeah. So that for me, because then I get something back from it, and it's like, I don't need anything back, but it's great if I'm getting that energy back. Yeah. So, so yeah, so... Yay, paper girl! Yeah! <laughs> cool. Can't wait for the next one. Yeah. So I'm here with Leslie, who was also one of the paper route paper girls today, distributing art here in Vancouver. Um, yeah, what do you find most inspiring about Paper Girl, Leslie? I was really excited when I saw the postcard and the opportunity to be out on a, on a bike and giving art out to people. I think it's fabulous that the artists contributed their art and I think the volunteer input and just the concept is wonderful. Because as people were out, we were engaging with all different kinds of people. Um, I was at points chatting with people on bikes, people in playgrounds, someone in a wheelchair. One point walked up the hill to a bride and groom who were getting their wedding pictures taken and they were thrilled to have a special gift on their special day. So, uh, Got so a photo of those two, we'll, we'll make sure we get that in there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there were many, many different things. I think it was wonderful with the small children to have their curiosity about what it was about. And when they were given a choice between two small two photo two photos or drawings that young people had done, they were thrilled to be able to choose and their parents really enjoyed it as well. So it was just a great event, great camaraderie and uh, it's going to be wonderful for Vancouver to go on to the second one next year. Um, it's also particularly great to know that you're part of an international activity, uh, having originated in Berlin five years ago, and to know that cities all over are going to be doing the same kinds of things. It was terrific. Alex and I were the original paper girls of this project. Um, we you're the paper board. girls. Well, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I would say Alex is a paper girl that brought it to me, but uh, we've been working on this project since February. And yeah, we just finished the, the bike ride, which is the icing on the cake, and it was really fabulous. I'm so happy with how it went. Um, it was really nice just having the wrap-up and hearing how everybody's experiences. My experiences were great. My first um, piece of art I handed out was to two guys who were visiting from Victoria, and they were super excited, especially when I told them their first piece came from New York. <laughs> um, and um, they were just having their stroll and see them all. Like, what a beautiful day to be strolling yeah. and see my Cooper and get a free piece of art. Did have some rejections. Um, <laughs> but I handled them with grace. I handled them with grace. And um, that's all part of the process, I think. Um, yeah. Were you... Um yeah, I think it's quite funny. Um, we were talking about like how you develop your pitch in terms of how you try and sell sell the project to people. Because if people actually just take the time and listen to what the project is about, they'll get really excited. But it's just how do you get it out before they tell you, no, sorry, I'm not interested, right? Well, you know, I've been selling the project since February um, <laughs> internally to staff um, because we've never done a completely volunteer-run project. It's been really unique here internally to the Roundhouse. Um, as the coordinator of the volunteer program here, I am like the little sister who's always helping everybody else. And this is the first time I've had my own project to run. So that's been quite
quite a great feat in itself. So I've been kind of selling it here, and then we've had to sell it outside of the roundhouse to artists. So I kind of feel like the pitch for me has been um, I've solidified that. So kind of talking to community members was easy for me because I'm, I'm so passionate about the project. And um, once I had their ear and I was able to have get them to listen, um, I think it, it was really easy for them. And I think it's your approach, really. You know, just kind of saying, excuse me, I'd like to have a minute of your time, if you don't mind, to tell you about this really cool art project that I'm part of today. And, um, and in fact, I'm going to give you a cool piece of art, you know? So, um, yeah, I think it's, it's just about the approach. So, yeah. And most people were really excited. Yeah. If they weren't, um, hopefully they might let people know about it, or maybe next year they might be more open and think, oh, I missed out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. Which they totally did. There's some pretty cool artwork in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, what were your thoughts as all the artwork was coming in? Were you uh, surprised, or what was... When all the artwork was coming in? Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I mean, it was really cool because um, at first, most of our art wasn't coming in from local artists. We really struggled with that at first. Most of our art was coming in from international artists, so that was more of a surprise. Like, why are like right contributing to the project and potentially it's because they just don't know about the project and I, I have a feeling that the international artists have been part of paper girl projects maybe in their communities because for example New York and Berlin or Seattle have all had paper girl projects running for the last few years over in San Francisco. So um, you know the paper girl projects it, it's a global movement more so than just a project. And, I think when you hear about, oh, there's one in Vancouver, I'm going to contribute to that one. So they'll make a print, and they'll make five or six and send it also to the project. So I, in understanding that, in retrospect now, I, I get it, but at first I was like, okay. So I wasn't necessarily surprised. I was just a little bit frustrated as to why we weren't able to reach out to our local community, and I think if that just takes time. Yeah. And if people also, if you live somewhere and you know you've got more time before you have to submit, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can always leave it till last minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it was like, you know, it wasn't until mid-June all of a sudden it went from, you know, 100 pieces to 500. Yeah. So that was really cool. So that was a surprise in itself and a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Cool. Um, what's the one thing you're going to take forward for next year for uh, working on the project? The biggest thing that stands out? Well, I think the biggest thing that stands out, the um, Hippogrill Project to me isn't really about the art. Um, the art um, is a special part of it and, and connecting people through the art, but I think it's really about the experience that the volunteers learn in working with each other and um, the teamwork experience and the new challenges and people talking to the core volunteers. They learned a lot about themselves. They learned a lot of new skills, um, social media being a lot of them didn't even know what Twitter or Facebook was and didn't even have accounts before, so it was really cool, and I think that you yeah, talk about right. potential volunteers next year, I think more so than talking about, okay, this is the art of giving art, which is really important, but um, just letting people know that they're really going to learn new things about themselves, and it might be surprising them. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Perfect.